Hey, what's going on? I just had two Tesla wall connectors installed today in my garage. We do have a Model 3 now, so I thought it was the perfect time to go on and get the Tesla wall connectors. That way they can communicate with each other, they share the load. We're gonna go in and hook these up to Wi-Fi, and also we're gonna test the charge and show you as well how to link both of these together, and that way you can maximize your charging at home, and I'm starting right now. I was able to pick these up on the Tesla website, and on the website, it's $475 per charger. And I did get a certified electrician company to come out and install this. I know I see a lot of videos out there where people are installing it themselves, but hey, whenever we're dealing with high voltage and in a house, I didn't want to take any chances, so I thought I was just going to leave it to the professionals. And something else to be mindful of whenever installing the chargers inside of your house, it also affects the price if you run further away. So originally that I wanted one charger on this side of the garage and the other charger on the other side of the garage, that was gonna be $1,800 more than just putting them side by side. So for $1,800, we were just like, hey, we would just walk five, six feet. So with the Tesla wall connector, it is good for a 60 amp breaker. So with these two Tesla wall connectors, just say if one of the cars is on the charger, it can roughly get about 50 amps, give or take. It doesn't go all the way to the 60. With my Model Y, we're looking at about 42 miles to the charge. And also with the Model 3, we're looking at 44 miles to the charge per hour. Well, let's go on and jump right into hooking these up to the Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do is lift up here, take the handle, and just like any other Tesla charger, even a mobile connector, or if you're new to the Tesla community, it's a little circle that's covered in a circle. We're just going to press it down for about five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Now, if you can see right here, I'm going to zoom in here. All of the light bars are lit up. So now it is trying to go on and connect to the Wi-Fi. And now you can see that the light is blinking. So I'm going to come over here to the settings on my phone and look for that network. So on the front panel of your brochure, keep up with this brochure because this is how you connect to Wi-Fi. But I am going to take my camera here and I am going to pull up the camera and I am going to scan right now. I am now connected to the Tesla wall connector. It is saying no internet connection, but it is connected and we know because it is blinking. At this point, we're going to go back and type in the web address or right here in the brochure hopefully you can i'm going to get my camera and all that's going to happen here if you can see on my phone a little badge popped up and now it is pulling up the website and after you get to this web page you are then going to select your network and i am going to go where it says installation i'm living here in the united states and it is a 60 amp breaker. So now, as you can see, the light went down. Now it is saved to 60 amps. This one right here, the black one has not been set up yet. So it's still only one light that's happening. The lights will determine how many amps will go out to your car. The fact that it is a 60 amp breaker that we put into the box here, uh, max ampage that will go out to the car is 48. Now that my white home charger is connected to the Wi-Fi, we're just gonna go on and repeat the same process very quickly with the space gray charger. Now that we have both of the wall connectors connected to Wi-Fi, we are going to come all the way down here on the bottom to where it says power sharing. Now, after we click on power sharing, it is all in the red because we do need to connect the wall charger to the network. Now, just for note, you can only connect wall chargers that's on the same network. So all I'm going to do is add wall connector and on the side of your wall connector you do have some qr 
codes on the side. And also, so, if you don't want to do the QR reader on the side, you can also put it in manually. You just look on the front of your brochure in order to just enter in the Wi-Fi that's to the boxes and also password and you link them up from there. And it's so important right after that, that you go through again and set that the share capacity is 60 amps. So I have my Model Y here in the garage. This is the moment of truth. This is literally the first time I'm using this. So I'm anxious right now. So we're in the car right now and I already have a great charge on the car at 83%, but I just pushed it up just to see how many kilowatts we're gonna get here. So I'm going to go on and hit start charging because right now I have it on the schedule. So I'm going to say yes and let's see. So as you can see right now, we're already at four. It's going to take a while to get up there to the 48 amps. That's what we're looking at. So right now it's going on 30. Okay. And right now we are at eight kilowatts going in, but we are not all the way up there just yet. We're hitting 48 so we're at 48 and it is coming in at 11 it's flirting between 11 and 12 kilowatts but it's steady at 11. so there you have it about the tesla chargers and there are so many different accessories and voice commands that you need to know and i'll leave those on the video right over there make sure you check those out subscribe if you haven't already done so and i will see you in the next video